Hi, I'm Rocky Raccoon, and I have another exciting guest today. But first, I have our disclaimer. This video is not affiliated with any alcoholic recovery program. No part of this ensuing conversation is to be construed as professional advice. And finally, my guest this evening is not an actor. He is an alcoholic. Please welcome my guest, Barry. Hi, Barry. Welcome to the second episode of I Am an Alcoholic. Barry, I have been told that in many cases, the family life in the early years can lead to alcoholic behavior later in life. Did you find this to be the case in your childhood? Well, when I was growing up, there was always a lot of alcohol around the house and family gatherings. Uh, the first time I got drunk, I was actually 10 years old. Uh, working, I was at my sister's wedding, and I was tending the keg, getting tips and filling up my beer cup and drinking it the whole time. Um, so that was, of course, like, you know, getting drunk was pretty young. Um, but it's always been a big part of my family. My, you know, my, my parents, my mom is Italian, my dad is Irish. So there's always been, you know, a lot of alcohol in our blood. When people first encounter alcohol, they either immediately like the effect it has on them, or they get quite sick from it, but go back for a second try later on. What was your early encounter with alcohol like? Um, I really liked it. I really liked the way it felt. Like I just felt like warm and fuzzy inside, kind of like when you have a crush on someone and you see them. It's like the same thing. You're getting some sort of satisfaction out of it. Um, and I know for the for a fact that in the book it says that we have an allergy, which means, you know, allergy of the body, obsession of the mind. And I think the first time I touched alcohol, the first time I ever touched it, I was already obsessed with it before I even knew it. As adults, many people can safely enjoy a social drink or two. But for an alcoholic, drinking often becomes a life-consuming occupation. Can you share with us your experience? Um, well, going forward, fast forwarding a little bit to when I was in college, I found it very easy to make friends, um, to, to hang out with people, uh, you know, flirt, date, whatever. That as well was much easier when I had alcohol. Uh, I don't think I ever went on a date sober until like last year. And, um, you know, it's, it shows because I really didn't pick the best partners or friends to hang out with um, when, when I was drinking heavily. So I, I definitely, I know that it had an impact on my life and for the negative as I continue to do it and consume it more and more. The 12 steps of the AA program have been followed by many an alcoholic in recovery. Working these steps, they say, can lead to a life of sobriety. One day at a time, they say. How were you experiencing your life in sobriety? Well, I first introduced to AA when I was pretty young. Uh, I was about 16 years old when I went to my first meeting. Um, but, you know, again, unfortunately, I didn't get it the first time. I, who knows if I still got it. I got it today. But I just know today that AA is the only solution to this problem of drinking and thinking. Um, but that's basically negativity, negativity that consumes me and forces me to keep relapsing and relapsing um, because I don't think I'm worthy of sobriety. Now I realize that I am worthy of it. Things have changed and alcohol has become, you know, the, the marked enemy. And I'm doing the best I can to fight it uh, with my friends in AA and God. So it seems to be working out pretty good in my favor now that I'm in the program. This concludes episode number two. Thank you for being with us, Barry. We'll see you in episode three.